So you may think this is easy or pointless, but let's assume you need to make a multi-view with program and preview in vMix for some reason, and you can't or don't want to use the built-in multi-view, or you need a second multi-view for a second op that might be doing call onboarding, etc. So here's how you can do that within vMix. Hi, I'm Matt, welcome to Crazy Logic. So this is a uh, pretty standard multi-view, so I can select my inputs for the uh, preview and then take it to program. So preview being the top left uh, window, program the top right, and then eight inputs across the bottom. Pretty common if you're uh, used to like the Blackmagic Atom devices, it's a familiar layout. Um, and I've got some keyboard shortcuts here set up for triggering different inputs. So you can see it in action. So what's important about this specific scenario is I am not using the output input from vMix 25. Um, I'm also not looping back video um, from vMix to itself. So I'm not using NDI or SRT to loop back video. Um, there's no overlays in the program in this method. And due to the way that layering works within vMix, sometimes if you're nested too far, um, your inputs won't show up nested inputs uh, on this multi-view output. So a few things to uh, to remember. But it's a good 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 thing to use if you need to get around some certain problems. So if that sounds useful uh, to you, here's how you would go about setting up. So the good news is I've done the hard work for you. So I'll have two files down in the description. One is the uh, vMix layout for this multi-view and one is a script that runs that pulls the program preview inputs in. So here's how we go about doing that. So first of all, we're going to add an input and we're going to add blank and we're going to go into that input and change its name. This is important, multi view with a capital M capital V. And then in the layers slash multi view, I'm going to import a uh, multi view layout like so. And then I'm going to select my inputs I want to show. So in this multi-view uh, layout, one is preview, two is program, and then three would be my first input. So I added my eight inputs across the bottom, and I'm going to leave these two as just none for now. So you can have a quick look at that and you can preview it. Looks like the start of a preview or multi-view. So if you're running vMix 25, you could actually just use the output input and then add it as a layer into the multi-view for the program, uh, but you can't do that for preview at the moment. So the way we get around this is that we run a script in the background. So if we go to scripting and then click add and then import, and then if you find the script that I've got, um, so what this script does is it loops, um, but basically it pulls the XML file that contains the current state of vMix and then looks in that for the active and the preview, uh, finds out what inputs they are. And then this api.function line basically sets the layer one to be the preview input and layer two to be the program input. And you need to change this depending on your frame rate. So I am 720 at 25 uh, in this uh, virtual machine. So I'm gonna sleep for 40 milliseconds, which is basically what a frame takes. So we can save that and close. And then if we run that script, it may give you an error, but it will eventually run fine. So now in our multi-view, we have our program and preview and we can cut away uh, so that people can keep updated. So yeah, that's how you can do it in uh, vMix. You can do this in prior to vMix 25 if you need to. I hope you found this helpful. If you have, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below if you can think of a different way that this may be adapted to suit a need that you've had. Thanks for watching.